All right, I had to include another factoring problem because uh, you know, I just know so many students, you know, they just need a lot of that practice with factoring. So automatically when I look at this, I see I have a square term, a linear term, and then a constant. So I automatically think of factoring, maybe it's just because all my education I've been doing with this and how many math problems I've done, but I automatically just think of factoring. And if I can kind of forget about the cosines for a second and just rewrite this as 2x squared plus x squared minus, or sorry, plus x minus 3, I can see, all right, well, how could I factor it if it was um, just a quadratic or a trinomial in this term? Well, if I was going to do that, I know my only two terms would be 2x times x. And then I need to pick two numbers that are going to multiply um, by, negative, by negative 3 with my coefficients of 2. So I need to multiply two, times in, or two numbers that are going to multiply negative 3. But when multiplied by my first term, are going to add to give me positive 1. So there's a couple options we could have. We could either have. Um, negative 1. So we could do plus or minus 1 here, plus or minus 3 here. Or we could do 2x plus or minus 3 here, and x equals plus or minus 1 here. Meaning, and now since we're multiplying to give us negative 3, if this is a positive 3 here, it has to be a negative 1 here. Same thing, if it's a negative 3 here, it has to be a positive 1 here. Because I know one, that both have, one has to be positive, one half is negative 4 to give us a negative 3. But to determine our middle term, what we're going to do is we're going to be multiplying our outer and our middle. So if I did 2x times 3, that's going to give me 6. And it doesn't matter if I add or subtract um, 1x, I'm not going to get anywhere near next to um, 1x. So therefore, that's not going to work. So let's look at this one. Here, I can multiply 2x times 1 and 3 times x. So since my middle term is positive, I know that this 3, 3x three and so 2x times 1 and 3x or 3 times x, 3 times x is going to be larger than 2x times 1. So that's going, to carry the, that's going to carry the sign for the x. So I'm going to want to make the 3 positive and this 1 negative. And let's just carry this out. We know 2x times x is 2x squared. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 3x three plus 2x times negative 1, which is negative 2x, is just going to leave us with 1x. So therefore, I know that's going to be my factored form. So what I'm going to want to do is just rewrite that with what I have here. So when I do that, I have um, 2 times cosine of x plus 3 times cosine uh, of x minus 1. And you know, looking at this, trying to see if I can uh, simplify or do anything else with that, that's going to at least be my factored form of at least me breaking it down into any kind of simplified process. But as far as moving anything else over, um, that's really about as much as I can do. Thanks.